Hi there folks, today I'm going to do a tabletop review of this Victorinox Ranger. So first let me get it out of all this packaging. caveman on it right as you can see this is out just go over all this basically they've got a lovely guarantee that if you don't abuse it they'll replace it um, what made me want to buy this is for me this and the farmer are probably among the two best UK EDC multi tools now don't get me wrong I believe you should partner it up with a primary blade for doing most of the cutting tasks. This is a Spyderco clone of the pie in the sky because I don't believe in paying £300 for a knife because if you can justify spending that on the money you can probably justify carrying a fixed blade in the UK so it's not worth it in my eyes but anyway let's get to it. Now I've previously mentioned I do not like these scales they look cheap and nasty and I, I just don't like them so what I intend to do is, as many other people do, um, you basically just take your tool out, you pop it off with a small screwdriver, and then you can replace these scales. People 3D print them, and I have seen on AliExpress um, titanium scales. They're a bit pricey though, at 20 something dollars, so it makes this knife uh, quite a premium knife then after that. So let's have a look. So, tin opener. Now, I'd recommend watching Felix Imler because he'll show you some techniques with these knives, which all well, the mind blowing to be honest. Like for using this, all you actually do for the tin opener is get it in, push it in, and you force it way around the the can instead of using it in the traditional manner, and that that opens the can quicker. So enough said. So here's the tin opener and sorry, the bottle opener and the tin opener. And then we're going on to the scissors. Now a lot of people like having the scissors. Um, I personally have never really bothered about them, but I'm giving them a try. Now the saw. This for me is a must have. So this is what really sold this. Now the farmer, as we know, has a saw. But the main difference that made me want to get this Ranger is it also has this, this file here. Now... I want this for a few reasons really, just for whittling and making stuff. Maybe if you was to make a trap, you might want to file down the corners to make triggers and things like that. And also, I'm not going to lie, uh, it saves cutting your nails. I hate cutting my nails, it's horrible, so you could just, you know, file them down. Um, so yeah, the blade is pretty much standard. To all the Victorian Ox, apart from the Alox range, just compare it. The Alox range has a much beefier blade. So, obviously, another good little point is you've got your little whittling knife. Now, this is always good to have an extra blade because if you're blunting one, you don't have to stop your job to then sharpen it. You just open your other blade. Now. I really like this and I'm glad I've got it but I'm going to have to change the scales but for me the farmer or the ranger I believe are the best UK EDC pocket tools because it will pretty much perform any task you want so you take the farmer you can use that all for scraping fire steels or you can use the back of the saw but I've used this for marking holes on the wall when I'm going to drill them um, boring out conkers for my son to play with um, and obviously this has got a few extras on the back end let's get these out now these are a bit of a nightmare to get out but I'm sure they'll loosen up with time so we've got this hook I'm not gonna lie I'm not really sure what to use that for because it's not sharp you could use it maybe for fishing stuff out down cracks of stuff and um, 
So we've got a small screwdriver, a small flathead. Now that's a good little touch that, really, because then you can pretty much do any form of screw you want. Then a little chisel. Now this is actually sharp. Um, I'll see if I can demonstrate how sharp that is. This is a bit silly, really. So yeah, it did fell one hair, but I'm not going to do that anymore because it's a bit silly and I'm into using knives correctly. Um, so what I'd recommend on any carry of a Victorian Ox is one of these. You can get these off eBay for a couple of pounds, a couple of dollars. So these are definitely my picks because I have to have a saw because I like playing around in the woods and camping and stuff like that. But certainly I'd recommend having a primary blade for cutting. Now what I'm exploring doing at the minute is I've ordered a clone Gerber um, EAB. It's completely renamed and it's completely redesigned and everything. But I'm thinking of gluing the lock shut so that it can't operate. So obviously it's not locking. Um, because I thought really for day to day use having a box cutter on one of these it's probably going to be the best kind of combination you can get. Now, a few others that I'm just going to mention, I will do reviews on these as well, um, is I ordered a Ganzo Firebird and I got this with it. Now, without looking at it, I'm uncertain as to what its name is. It's a Ganzo, it's basically the mini one. As you can see, it is, it is really small. Let's compare that to the Farmer. It's only a little bit longer. Now, this I've found useful so far. You can clip wire with it. And what else I've found it good is if you tie a knot, say like a paracord knot, just for nipping it in and pulling it and getting extra, get, getting the knot extra tight. Now, some of the tools that come with it, they are usable, but I think they're a bit childlike, to be honest. You can get by with them. I mean... Your bottle opener, that's fine. I'm no criticism of that. It's got a little flat head on the end. Um, and as you can see, it's got a few little tools with it. You can see them all in there. The knife that comes with it is a bit toy-like as well, really. You'd be much better sticking to a knife on this or having a primary. Now, if you wanted something bigger and you're happy to carry it, I'd carry something like this. This is the Ganzo... G201B all the tools on it are non-locking so it complies with UK law and as you can see you've just got about every bit under the sun to do quite a lot of tasks I've built flat pack furniture with this and done the odd bit to my car with it and I'd really recommend that if you don't mind carrying it but it is a bit heavy it's got a good quality case and they're about £20 but all in all I think for the UK if you like camping and playing in the woods and that kind of thing you'd be better with either the ranger or the farmer now I'm also going to introduce the pioneer which is similar to the soldier as everyone knows just to give everyone a bit of, a bit of a, an idea as to how thick they are now I'm going to turn them on the side there's the farmer there's the ranger now I'm also going to do something here I'm going to put the cadet together next to the farmer because a lot of people have these. Now, as you can see, if I was to do a 3D printed scale mod, that's probably how thick this would be. So you could get your cadet and your farmer, hold them together, and that's roughly the same size as the ranger. I'm not the biggest fan of the cadet because I think it really is intended for a cadet or a younger person. A lot of people love them, but if you don't like playing in the woods and you don't need a saw, then you've got your Pioneer. Um, everyone loves them. I personally like camping, so I'm always... The Ranger or the Alox Farmer. That partnered up with my main blade just today is the fake pie in the sky. But I'm quite into my Whitby. So for a UK EDC multi-tool, I'd always take my hat off to these two. So you got your farmer and the ranger. So I'm just going to bring out the tape measure. Everyone really knows how big they are anyway, but just for the video. 
around 91, I think the 91 mil, the solder's 91 mil, and it is three quarter of an inch thick, which is 23 mil. So in the pocket, you're gonna know that's there, but I'm not bothered, I can deal with that. Same with the farmer, you know that's there. But if you don't need your saw and you don't want to saw, you don't even know you've got the Pioneer, if I'm honest. So, thanks for watching. If you like knife videos, please like and subscribe. That's the Ranger, I shall pop in the link. It's £28 from Amazon.